Hello guys, Splashdom here and welcome back to another video. Today, I am counting down the top 5 Batman Arkham Knight skins. Now this is not limited to just Batman, because Batman has a whole horde of skins. I could just do a top 5 on his. He has 18 different skins, which is insane. I'm still wondering what this one is, but it wouldn't probably be included on the count. But it's going to be Batman, Robin, Catwoman, uh, Robin, Nightwing, Harley Quinzel, and Red Hood, baby! Alright, let's get this count started. At number 5, we have Arkham Knight for the Red Hood. Now what I like about this skin is the technological screen, the way they change the coloring on the sides to look very nice. And the fact that he uses the guns instead of like batarangs, showing that you're not playing as like Batman. You can notice a slight Arkham, an Arkham symbol on his arm. And you can notice he has red on his costume, giving away that he's already Red Hood. Which makes this costume all the more awesome. In my opinion, at least. Other people would disagree, saying that, oh yeah, that, that's just like, that's something stupid. But no, he's honestly awesome. And just the design of the costume and everything like that makes him a very awesome character. Anyways, on to number four. At number four, we have Harley Quinn Classic Outfit. Now, the reason I like this one is because... It's just a flashback to the older people and the detail they've got on it and the fact that Harley's always talking, which makes sense. Personally, I love the detail they added on a lot of this. It's not just like they were like, oh yeah, this is a throwaway character or some shit like that. No, it's, it's stupid when they just take things, but she's really awesome just because of all the acrobatics she does and all this other stuff she does like that and just how fluid the movements look and how natural they look I'm always a fan when natural when they're natural movements in video games instead of all this like flawed shit where it looks like they are constantly ached up basically but anyways on to number three at number three we have Nightwing's new 52 skin which personally is my favorite skin of his because of how fluid it looks. The red fits in better than the blue. It and the movements in the costume are fluid. No flaws really. I mean besides the fact that like just certain things that I look out for. Like I said. And anyways, he is very awesome in fluid movement. I can't really expand on these too well, so it's going to be a short video, but it's going to be a good video, because it probably takes a while to edit, and you know. But anyways, back to the subject at hand. Nightwing's new 52 skin is really awesome, because it brings to, to the old, the new people, oh my god, this is what his old costume looked like, except just blue, basically. That's all they did, they really edited the costumes and made the origins exactly the same, basically. But, and then it's like a flashback to the older viewers, and they're like, Oh yeah, this is really cool. Honestly, I'm glad they included this type thing. You know, all that. And anyways, moving on to number two. At number two, Flashpoint Batman. Now, the reason I like Flashpoint Batman is a lot of the comic lore. You actually would need to research behind it. And the tagline is, like father, like son. Because you are not playing as Bruce Wayne when you're in this skin. You are playing as Thomas Wayne, Bruce's father, in a timeline where Bruce Wayne dies. And Thomas Wayne becomes the Batman. Except he's more ruthless, uses guns, and kills quite often. He kills the person who kills his son. And it's just so awesome that they actually brought him into the game as a season pass exclusive. I believe only people who people who pay money for the skin are getting what they deserve. 
as the movements are fluid. The only flaw this one has, and I've seen it playing in the main game, it's the fact that the cape doesn't fully stretch. So it looks like his arms are just out there, and his cape is just back behind him a little bit. But, flaws are flaws, and he's just really awesome with the skin. The red fits in well with the game. Like always, I'm a sucker for good skins. Anyways, moving on to our top one. At number one, we have the Batman Beyond skin. Now this one's more futuristic, doesn't have a cape, but I'm assuming it expands out during the game, so I'm gonna have to test that out. But honestly, I'm a sucker for good skins, and this one has to be the best. Now, what I like about this skin is the factor that it has various many different things that make it look futuristic. You cannot see Batman's face really too well anyways. It's blacked out by this like cloth-like thing. His eyes are red instead of the white that you usually see, or his actual eyes, which I personally like, keeping his identity fully secret. And I could imagine him being in almost a movie because of how awesome this is. You just want to think he'd be in a movie because of, like, this appearance is just so awesome that it deserves, like, a movie or at least an episode of something. Like, it should be mentioned. It should be in comics or something. Like, all that good stuff, honestly. But, has it? I don't know. Will I research? Yes, I will. Because I love doing research on old things. So, if you enjoyed this countdown, please leave a like, just subscribe, and a comment for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.